I feel such a sense of satisfaction. Our family loves to visit. It's really a highlight of our retirement. Welcome to my tiny house. Hi, my name is Sherry, and we are at the Yellow Rose Cottage in Fisher, Texas. The Yellow Rose Cottage is 18 wide by 25 deep, and it's about 460 square feet. It has all the creature comforts of a regular house, except small. Fisher is exactly one hour between Austin and San Antonio, in the heart of the hill country. Welcome to Yellow Rose Cottage. We're in the living room and the theme of this room turned out accidentally to be sort of French when we found this gorgeous set of table and two chairs on Facebook Marketplace and loved it. So what we did was found our gold trimmed antique dinner plates and just sort of went with the gold theme. We didn't recover the chairs, they were just this way. They came from a house in Austin. We also bought this in Austin. This is a two-person sofa, but it was dark brown, and so that didn't go with anything. So we just took the wood parts of it and shabby chiced it with just whitewash paint and then sort of rubbed some off so it sort of blends in with the decor. We used shiplap for the flooring, and it's a popular item. So we ran out of shiplap after we did the floors, but Lowe's was able to mill this for me, and then we just stained it white. So my favorite part of Yellow Rose Cottage is the windows. These are at least 70 years old. They came from an old house, and these are some of the largest panes of glass that I've ever seen in a divided light window. I love the way they operate because it's just a counterbalance system. And it actually causes you to be able to lift the window at any height that you want to. We pick them up for about $50 a piece. They're tearing them out of old houses, and I buy all the ones that I can get my hands on. It's a window that's so high quality that you can't even buy anything like that today. When we built the kitchen, we wanted them to have all the creature comforts. A full-size refrigerator, a cooktop and the oven. It has a full-size dishwasher. These are my favorite kinds of sinks. Pretty much every single sink that I buy comes from either Habitat for Humanity or one of the Reclaim stores, where if they're tearing out an old house, somebody has the sense not to throw this away. It probably weighs 100 pounds, probably 70 years old, and it'll last for another 100. I love to restore old buildings, and so if I can't find an old building, my second favorite thing to do is to build something brand new with as much of the recycled material as I can possibly get. We have a chicken coop on the property, so a lot of the decor in here, it sort of has a little bit of a chicken theme. Life is just better with chickens to celebrate our little girls who lay the eggs. One of my favorite features of Yellow Rose Cottage is the fireplace. All of the stone was collected by my rock mason from the ranch, what we call found stone. The process of building this cottage was about nine months Yellow Rose was about $95,000 total. $60,000 of that was the house, and the other $35,000 was the infrastructure. This is the bathroom. We have a vintage vanity that we've dropped a sink into. It gives it an antique look. I had a carpenter make a hole for the plumbing so that two of the drawers still pull out. And we have a sink that is brand new, but I bought it from Habitat from Humanity. So we picked that up for $20 and then all new plumbing for the faucets. Brand new toilet. I like large mirrors, especially in small spaces. We were able to get one that just almost goes to the ceiling and it's a vintage piece that we picked up at an antique shop. I think it works beautifully in this house, especially with all the French influence. Now we're in the bedroom. This bed was just yet another Facebook Marketplace find. It came with a bed and a bedside table. This duvet cover, we sort of decorated the bedroom around it. We don't have any closets, so what we use is an armoire. And I picked this one up on Facebook Marketplace. It was dark mahogany, so we put layers and layers of shabby chic paint on it. I love a lot of light. And so instead of just putting another window here, we decided to make a walkout patio 
just a nice way to walk out and see what the weather's gonna be before you get dressed. When I'm in the cottages, I feel such a sense of satisfaction because it was such a fun project. It turned out well. It's so satisfying getting the appreciation from family when they stay here. It was a fun, exciting project that kept us busy for nine months. Really a highlight of our retirement. Thank you all for visiting and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.